a switch or not for a switch for uh, some uh, for a pro controller. I was like, oh wait, there's there's already stuff going on over here. What's happening? When did that happen? Yeah, and the cool thing about it too is like there's a lot of games on the Switch that you like people may want to play with a GameCube like controller, and they don't have a game controller or an adapter, and they might want to just use something else. Yeah. Like they want the home button on the controller, so those are great options to have too as well. Overall, right. honestly, just just to quickly end on that, Core just makes great products. Yeah. Overall. <laughs> let's go ahead and jump into the next game. It is going to be Arc Server versus Hex Factor. Yeah, we got a Rob, so. And we've, show, we've already seen at least one player. Rob is able to win in SoCal. Oh, yeah. Definitely a tiring game. That's a great showcase with Rob. I remember talking to him about it before the uh, before his you know earlier in the tournament. I'm like, Tyrant, you gonna win today? He's like, Yeah. I'm like, How do you how are you so confident? How do you know? He's like, All these kids that play Inkling, all they do is dash dance. They don't know how to handle projectile pressure. So I think I yeah. got this. <laughs> that's that's one of the things that we did saw from Tyrant and MSA. I'm like, Oh, I love it, but he's not able to get that full follow up after the pitfall. Um, but that is one of the things we have been seeing with Rob. Right? It's kind of one of those characters that loves to keep you in the corner, right? He right. loves the projectile pressure. Kind of that counter meta. If, if the dominant meta is going to be that dash, then he's back and forth playing footsies. Rob's projectile setups is very counter to that. You throw the gyro on the ground, put yeah. the lasers out, and then just kind of bully your way through. I know we both talked a lot about Rob back at SCR with uh, you mentioned Ocean, you know, one of those <laughs> Rob's. So I'm pretty sure he's pretty happy with these, uh, this character and how it's coming out for Smash Ultimate. And right now, Hex Factor oh, a little behind. Oh, wow, what a tech. Yeah, Arcaster, kind of a seasoned veteran. You know, he's gone through a couple L's, gone through a couple victories, so he kind of knows what to do with Tex. He's not going to fall to that. Goes a little bit off the stage. That recovery, looking like a Jekto Cito, immediately touches the ledge. Uses the, yeah, uses the splatter bomb to recover. Now, it'll be interesting to see how the Inkling game metagame develops with the uh, down special, just how they start using that. To their yeah, the splat bomb. It's pretty good, honestly. It does require some ink and gives you a visual cue with ink. It requires the lowest amount of ink, so you're not going to have to use too much ink compared to the real game of Splatoon 2, where like some splat bombs right. do require you to have a lot of ink, but this game requires you a uh, pretty solid amount of ink, not too much. He's got him in the raw blender, up airs for days. Yeah, definitely when he hit me hit by multi hits, like, oh, that was great, solid jab lock. He's not able to get all of it there. Still good percent. Love it, gets the cool. Oh, nice berry. I, 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 I keep reading about that. So. Anytime Rob gets a grab, so dangerous. What do we call it though? See, so sometimes we call it berry and I call it pitfall. I don't know what's the, the best well, way to call okay, it. Well, okay, so I think the item that does it is the pitfall. Mm -hmm. uh, I wonder if the name is either, I've seen grounded or berry. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna switch to berry. I kinda, I kinda like the berry animation. Uh, we're gonna, uh, we'll, we'll find it out. Someone on uh, Twitch chat. Tell us what you call it. We'll, we'll, we'll do a... Yeah, what, what, do you, what do you guys prefer? Just go ahead and talk about it. Do you guys prefer Pitfall or Barry? But let's go back into it so far. Arcs are using that movement around Hex Factor. Hex Factor is all able to power through all of that. And yeah, we're even. Man, that, that copter from Rob looking like the... Looking like Zangief's Red Tornado. <laughs> so much damage. So much priority. Just throw it out. Put in the work. But that's kind of like the thing that Hex Factor hasn't been able to do is like we talked about how Tyrant knows like, hey, they yeah. know how to move around me, but they don't know how to capitalize off punishes and we can go for combos. Even though Arcaster hasn't been able to do much of that, like Hex Factor has not been able to kind of like zone Arcaster and right. keep him in a corner. This is his first one of the first opportunities I've been seeing so far. Right, he's been actually doing it the opposite of letting, uh, you know, just kind of waiting and let uh, Arcaster come to him. Yeah. Oh, this could be trouble. Oh, no, only getting the back air. I think that's the up smash. Look, he's on the platform. That's not going to kill. Hex Factor with another opportunity at life. Stalling for a chance to come back on the stage. And we're close. Is that going to be enough? That'll kill. Ooh. All right, and the chat has spoken. They seem to favor your pick over mine. Uh, Lux Barry right. is going to be the name we should right. call it. Barry, Barry Bonds is now the new, is the new name for uh, Rob Downthrow. Got yeah. it. <laughs> I got, I got one vote for Pitfall, man. It was cool. It was cool. It was cool. <laughs> one, one, vote, one vote for Pitfall. It's good enough for me. The chat has spoken, and as we all know, the chat is never wrong, except when they're always wrong. So, <laughs> 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 all right, moving into game two. That's a that was a close match, and you know, if you're if you're Hex Factor, you just gotta try to control the stage a little bit more, as we were saying. And if you're Arcaster, just go back to what you're doing. Maybe not miss some of those four matches. Yeah. Let's see who cleans it up a little bit more. Sometimes, like, it's one of those deals where, like, you got to go fast, but you got to slow down. <laughs> like, you need to understand, like, if you're going to be going for a follow-up, like, you need to make sure you're, you do know, you're knowing what you're doing, right? 
can't just be going for it all the time. And yeah, to make sure it's going to connect instead of just throwing it out. Yeah, but I know Arcus, they're still in the, you know, the early stages. Many of us are. Yeah, it's getting really, uh, really painy out there. And that's the thing. Like, as more paint gets thrown on the rocks, does more oh. damage. Wow, commanding late to open up this second game. Arcus are looking to try to make it 2-0. Okay. X Factor trying to keep him in the corner get again. One of the things I like about Smash, the way how it seems to be doing is very when we talk about the corner of the ledges, if you're from the FGC, you know, that feels very similar to games like Street Fighter, Dragon Ball Z Fighters, right? Yeah. Corners and ledges are kind of like that same sense. It's said that you fall off the stage and you die versus <laughs> being combo to death. Good, good for Smash, good pickup. And you know, I, I agree with what you're saying, and especially for this game in particular, because if you think about all the past Smash games, the corner of the game, while it existed, you know, with the ledge play and things like that, it was not as heavily emphasized or, or, or bullying, especially with the, not, the ability not to run through uh, your your opponent. You kind of get trapped over there, and that's part of a, you got to battle your way out instead of, you know, just kind of slipping your way through. Exactly, exactly. And Argus is still holding on to a lead, but definitely he lost some of that commanding lead that he was holding there earlier. Let's see if he can cash in a victory now before he runs out of chips. Yes, I mean, I mean, the chips are kind of putting, getting put down here. So far, Hex Factor kind of has Argon a bit of a struggle. I love the fact that the chip <laughs> kind of like countered around with the spot roller there. Kind of an interesting action I've seen so far. Okay, Arcaster. The one thing I like about what he's doing is he's moving like a shark, right? Yeah. He's going in the water, not finding much, comes out of the water, looks at the platforms, waits and picks and chooses moment. That might be it. Oh, is that enough yet? Yeah, oh, that was enough, man. You could tell the Hex Factor was not really liking that situation there. I could see it from his face over here. Yeah, no red sparks, but, you know, it was just enough, man. Oh, yep. And we're back to events. <laughs> Same story as game two. We got a close one. Let me know, Twitch chat, who do you got to win this one? We're coming into the home stretch. Arcus Derek or Hex Factor? Yeah, so far, I mean, Hex Factor, like we said, he's looking to strike back against Arcus Derek, but. We know what happens when you just win neutral a couple of times. That, that spot roller clanking with the left side of the stage. He even come in, comes down with the robot tornado. Not able to get much here. Goes for another upper. Oh, oh that, that may. Oh, no! So aggressive. So <laughs> that was the problem. He got so aggressive on the ledge. He plays off stage, but just couldn't get back. Yeah. And I'm, and I'm not going to lie, I like that he took the time to even go for the down. Like, he saw Rob was there. I was like, I might as well try to go for it. But of course, sometimes Rob's fuel is a little bit deceptive. But now we have a visual cue, right? right. Like his chassis actually has the, the fuel that he has left. So I was hoping to see if Arcaster might have gotten that visual cue. And said, right. like, hey, you know, I should probably just come back to the stage. So yeah, pump the brakes. You're about to run out of gasket. But you got to get back to the ledge before you can make that happen. I mean, yeah, exactly. I mean, it goes to show that Tyrant wasn't wrong. You know, a lot of these kids pull pedal to the metal, but when it comes down to putting the chips down, you know, they're just going fast, but they're not pulling much opportunity, you know. They're not getting the drift. They're not getting, you know, they're not getting the fire hopping. They're just, they're just going fast. Right. All right, let's play three, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Hex Factor able to even it up, and we're back to the old tried and true classic of Smashville. And I think, I think that's a good pick, actually, you know, just kind of based off how um, Arcaster was playing. He was, yeah. he was getting a lot of damage or a lot of uh, mileage out of these situations where the platform's not in the way he's able to control the stage. Kind of the opposite of what I was really expecting to come out of the yeah. matchup being played just after talking to Tyrant. But because right, right now it seems like Hex Factor is doing so much work whenever he's able to control the stage. Yeah. Oh, it's a berry. I like that he's still going for these dark guys too after the berry because he goes for the quicker option because sometimes you know you point it maybe meshing out yeah. of being buried. So going for a backer immediately is a pretty solid option. And it seems that Arcaster is kind of like test out in the waters like, hey, what what can I do after I bury aside from you know my kill confirms? Oh wow, very good down there, good cover of the stage, man. Uh, I was like, Arcaster, you're in a little bit of trouble. Don't go there. <laughs> he was like all the way underneath the bottom of Smash Bros. Of course, England's able to make it back. Probably should have gone back to the other side. Yeah. And when we're even, though, he's able to re uh, re 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 uh, maintain his composure and take it right back. And of course, we'd have a barn burner right here. They're just keeping it so even, staying within percentage points of each other. <laughs> yeah. X Factor controlling the stage, though. This is where he's really able to open up Argister. Arcaster off the stage, able to land. You gotta be careful with that landing. It has an actual hitbox too on the way back down. 
yeah, kind of caught him off guard and was able to bail himself out of that situation. But Hex Factor now controlling the states. There's the projectiles, and he's actually built himself quite a lead. Yeah. Harkester trying to make an offstage play. Might have been a little bit too risky because Hex Factor has him in the ropes. Down throw, is that going to be in the nair? No, he's able to power through it just in the nick of the time. Harkester playing from behind. He has to stand back, though. He's getting hit by the gyro. Can he make the recovery? Barely just in, just touching the stage. <laughs> the gyro at the ledge. Man, Hex Factor took advantage of the fact that, hey, man, he got him in the corner. He might as well keep him here. And yeah, Harkester a little upset with that play. Kind of found himself autopiloting that get-up option. Yeah. It, it, it was literally just a desperate fight to survive. Yeah. That's what it seemed like. And right now, Hex Factor is just putting in all that extra credit damage, controlling the stage. Going, you know, making the textbook place that we were hoping for. Okay, Hex Factor comes back to stage. I like that he's trying to come back with the, uh, with the. Uh, I don't even know. What, I don't remember what Rob's level move was called. But uh, Argister is just trying to keep himself, trying to keep himself in it, just barely, just clawing his way back. But every hit that they trade, oh wow, oh, good smash. gyro setup. You see that off the gyro into the down smash. Oh no. Trouble. That's oh. something that Argusser probably should have paid attention to the last time he clanked with the gyro, right? Was that gyro actually pushing him out of the splat roller, so he needs to be careful when the gyro is out and he challenges it with the splat roller. Yeah, next factor. Mm -hmm. Inches away from taking it. Let's see if this is this the come up? No. He just gets over the nick of time. Argusser meeting missing two confirms there yet again. I like the fact that he Oh no. I like the fact that he knew that he got grabbed, and he immediately just, you can kind of tell, like, he, it's like he mashed a yeah. B, because he knew the follow-up was coming, and he's able to just power through it and escape. But that unfortunately cost the situation between him and X-Factor, and he wasn't able to grab the ledge at all. He just fell down. 